Hey YouTube. Uh, I'm YummyBird37, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make your own Minecraft server. Um, I know a lot of people say it's like impossible or it's super hard, but actually it's not at all. You just got to know what you're doing, and I will show you how to know what you're doing. <coughs> anyway, go to Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome. Doesn't matter. Um, just uh, click the bucket, or not click, the type and hit enter. Then you're gonna download this bucket forms. All right, and then once you're here, uh, click get craft bucket, and then scroll down from the wiki page all the way down to Windows. And if you're using a Mac, click on Mac. OS X. Um, if you're using Windows, just this. Okay. Once you're here, you're gonna download this right here. This is the snapshot. It's very important. It's the main thing. You're gonna download and save it to your desktop. All right. Um, that finish. Okay. Once that's done, you're gonna copy this. Um, right here. I'll have this uh, coding in the description. Alright, and then you can just minimize. Then you can, uh, new folder. And I'm gonna make this called server. It can be called whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Just drag that over like that. And you're gonna open up the folder. And it's just gonna be empty like this. Okay? And then you're gonna open up Notepad, and then you're gonna type probably I mean the paste the uh, coding in there that you uh, used. Uh, and also, if you are using an 86-bit or also known as 64-bit, you can type slash or not slash uh, parenthesis open x86 and close. Alright, and then you just gonna click File, Save As, Save As, guys, not Save, and then and then type in um, Run dot bat, and then in here, oops, oh, let's see, okay. And coding, encoding this, just click save. And then you can close that. And then you'll see this run thing right here. Just gonna double click that. And it'll have all this stuff here. Uh, doesn't matter. Alright. So uh, it may take long for you because it's the uh, first time the world is actually popping up. Um, Alright, so once your uh, stuff is here, you'll notice you have a folder plugins, world, all that stuff. So you're going to have to uh, click, let's see where is it? It should say server right here. Server properties file right here. And uh, you're going to want to open with notepad. Oh. <coughs> oh my god. Sorry, this guy keeps messaging me. Alright, anyway, so you're gonna see this stuff. <coughs> Bye. <coughs> God damn it, stop measuring me. <coughs> Here we go. Right. <coughs> okay. 
Anyway, sorry about that. You're going to uh, see if you want your uh, now pay attention to this part. If you want your um, this is for 1.8 by the way. It's, I guess you already got that because um, it's in the title. Um, if you want your um, your world your my a server thing to be just like uh, a creative kind of server, just like in um, single player. You're gonna type game mode right here to one, all right. And uh, also, if you forget to do that, zero, it's fine. Because in the game, if you have permissions, um, or I, I actually don't think you need permissions. Um, you just type slash uh, like this. Slash game mode. Game mode. Your name like your minecraft name and then one and then change it back to normal just try to zero it's really easy, easy. Yeah. Right. uh... so you're gonna need your ip address um... Let's see where do you find that maybe a network oh i know it Let's see. Let's do my gaming IP. Six. Alright. <clears throat> Max players. Do you want to change it to 30? Because a lot of people could join difficulty one. Online mode, true. Unless you want, like, people with, like, um, uh, what's it called? Like, Minecraft SP. They can join. Uh, but I don't think regular people can join. I don't know. You don't want to keep your level name to world. Well, nether, true, distance, doesn't matter. Alright, so you can just cut save here. Okay, now if you uh, launch your server. Oops, hold on. So I ran it twice. run it one more time you're going to uh, see this stuff okay. it's done now see it was sh much shorter because it had already completed your spawn point so let's go ahead and try and join it for your friends to be able to join you got a port forward and I will make a video for that Oops. Go ahead and make it full screen. Actually, no, there's full screen. Alright, so I already have it here. Um, Alright, see? Fresh worlds, animals, 1.0.1, and also do my max. Uh, yeah. right. So, for that plugin, I mean, for that command, you're gonna need a plugin called permissions. Uh, I will actually make a video for that, uh, after this. Okay, so, you know how it sprints. Give. Alright, so you see, right now I won't let him do anything. I'll just come right back. In touch slash off your name. Not let me do that right now. Yeah, I won't let you. Alright, so what you're gonna do is gonna go right here, click on ops, type in your name, save it. Then you're gonna go right here, type in reload. So kind of refresh the server, go back. Remote one more time. Yeah. Oh, maybe we have to stop. I'm a Mac user, by the way. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyway, you can go ahead and start that back up.
Sand Hunter. And now it'll let you break. Alright, so he gave me a uh, pickaxe. Uh, Alright, see when I type that command it doesn't work. You're gonna need a permission for that. It's much shorter. Right, they run away. See? 1.8. I just made a server. Uh, fully operational. Uh, better than the uh, one that they give you on Minecraft.net. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.